Okay, so all right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the fourth, uh, uh, sorry, fourth session or last session of second day. This happens to be the eighth session of the whole, of, uh, you know, 20 session program of uh, secondary and senior secondary teachers of English training program. Now, uh, today we have uh, with us uh, Professor Geeta Adurai Rajan, ma'am, a teacher of all of us, <laughs> a very simple word a very uh, you know renowned ELT scholar of India I am very happy that ma'am is also in spite of like uh, uh, leaving uh, EFL University uh, a few years ago she is uh, still very active and has uh, been uh, with uh, attached with NCRT for a course called diploma person in teaching of English and a new shape uh, Sri Deepa ma'am Geeta ma'am and Dipesh uh, Dipesh uh, three of them are here and some others may be there they are shaping that course also for teachers. So I requested ma'am to come for a presentation of the topic that she is working on, uh, innovating and researching an English language classroom. A very important topic for the point of view of uh, being an English teacher and bringing out new things uh, from your classroom to the entire world. This topic will also be somehow linked with uh, the topic that was presented yesterday, writing for journals by, uh, uh, by uh, Ravi Narayan so from RI Bang, uh, Bangalore, RI Bangalore. So these topics are in sync with each other. So ma'am also, though ma'am session was there on the fourth day, uh, on the fifth day, that is on the fourth January uh, in the morning session. But uh, ma'am, uh, we I requested ma'am to uh, bring it a bit early so that there can be proper linkage. And ma'am also said, I want this on Tuesday so that there can be proper linkage with that module. So may I request, ma'am, uh, the introduction is a very brief, ma'am. I don't want to read out the whole CV because it will, I want uh, your words uh, on topic to be more important and learners direct interaction with you on the topic more than what I speak because words will fall very short when I start introducing you. Thank you, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, good evening, everyone. Apologizing for all the technological problems, but then that's it. Some of us are not technologically savvy, and that is a reality. Okay. Uh, what is my topic today? It's as you can see, it is innovating and reaching language classroom. First, check. Am I audible to everyone? Am I clear? Can yeah, ma'am, you are audible and very clear. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. ma'am, it is clear. Fine. Thank you. So, what I have is, see, I have questions for all of you. I've uh, given, see, I'm sure all of you, many of you, if not all of you, have already looked at and are familiar with what is in the NCERT bulletin, innovative practices. In case some of you are not familiar, I've just presented the introduction about what is an innovation. I'm not going to read this out. All of you a minute just to take a look at it and refresh your memory as experienced KV teachers. Every one of you, I'm sure, will be familiar with this. All of you must be knowing the gives an award, Dr. Ganga, correct me if I'm wrong, an annual or is it biannual award for innovative practices for school teachers. Am I correct, Dr. Ganga? It's annual, it's annual. It's an annual. So it's just the introduction of something new. It could be trying out a technique, it could be trying out a method, it could be trying out some materials, it could be a strategy, it could be anything, some creative idea, some way of bringing about, making learning to happen. Okay, and so what I've given about is just the definition. Uh, Dr. Sridipa, can we go to my first set of questions? Now, uh, no, after that, how many of you? No, above that, above that. For set A, uh, it's the second question, yes. How, okay, now, can I ask all of you to answer the question for me in the chat? 
you have attempted innovative practices in class. And this is not going to be a lecture. This is going to be an interactive session. So wake up. I hope you've all had a cup of tea or coffee. My case, is tea. I'm sure it'll be tea. I hope you're awake with tea and biscuits. Can I get some answers? How many of you have attempted innovative practices? How many of you have applied for the award? Is there anybody here who has won? Can I get some answers, please? Has anybody here applied for the Innovative Practices Award? Some of you may try. And just, please don't make this a silent classroom where as the teacher I sit here and all of you as students stare at me and not answer. Are you aware of this award? I can see Poonam bringing her mask down. Would you like to talk to me, Poonam? Can you unmute yes, yourself? Uh, innovative awards uh, uh, or inspirational awards uh, uh, through their teaching uh, uh, teaching practice. Some of the students, those are intelligent and get award like uh, Inspire uh, uh, in Science Exhibition Award. Yes. And. Uh, and yes. um, debate debate competition, speech competition yes. at yes. state level or national level, either in games or um, games and um, academic or uh, indoor outdoor games. So, so we encourage them to uh. enhance their abilities and uh, and improve um, skills uh, through the awards and giving example for other students to make them as a role model. Very good. For, Anybody no else? Yeah. Ganga, can no you rephrase that in Hindi, Hindi yeah. for me? Uh, Ganga or Deepesh, can one of you or Dr. Shri Deepa, will one of you ask that question in Hindi for me? Because I think my I was a little far. I, you are I, want, to, I want to ask, Actually, are they aware of this award? They uh, I'll, I'll just rephrase it, ma'am. पहली बात मैम ने पूछा है कि क्या आपको पता है कि टीचर के लिए कोई इनोवेशन या एक्सपेरिमेंट का अवार्ड होता है और अगर इस तरह का कोई अवार्ड होता है तो क्या आपने इसके लिए अप्लाई किया है क्या जो टीचर के इनोवेशन के अवार्ड्स बहुत सारे कंट्री में है एक नहीं बहुत सारे एनपीआरटी से भी एक मिलता है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया से भी मिलता है तो यह टीचर का जो क्रिएटिविटी को लाने का है टीचर का इनोवेशन एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन का कोई अवार्ड है उसके लिए क्या आपने कभी अप्लाई उसके बारे में क्या आप जानते हैं और अगर जानते हैं तो क्या उसके लिए आपने अप्लाई किया है या नहीं किया है अभी आप बताइए हाँ ये मिस्टर जमदा आई यू प्लान टू से समथिंग या 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 डॉक्टर नून मैन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर सच गुड बिनिंग हेलो Actually, uh, last year, the, uh, the before last year, uh, am I audible to you, ma'am? Hello, uh, Mahendra Yadav. Yes, Karu Lal ji, आप बताइए. Yes, yes, sir. Continue. I'm continue, sir. Uh, the uh, uh, before last year, I had applied for a kind of award, which uh, is uh. given by the Arbindo Society for the new uh. innovation in the field of language and literature. as well as also ah. in the field of science so ah. actually uh, as i was taking the classes uh, of senior secondary students for communication english development ah. so i had uh, experimented there that i had got all the students to uh, express their views about their family matters and ah. then they express their views then they uh, ah. uh, prepared a mixed story so actually that story Very was good. Yeah, yeah. So that story, uh, just in the form of a novel, was selected by Arbindo Society, and I was given an innovative award in the field of language and literature. Thank you, ma'am. Very good, uh, Mahendra Yadav ji. You raised your hand. Bolna chahiye. Yes, ma'am. Um... Yadav ji. Okay. Now, some see all of you are aware that there is something called an award. maybe some of you have 
applied for it. Okay. Now, what I'd like to ask is, next question. Remember, I'm talking about research and innovation. Now, I'm going to leave this and ask, when we talk about research, what is, before I ask, what is an innovation? What do you understand by the word, by the term innovation? Innovation hai to kya hai? Any answers? Exploring new ideas. Anything else? Anything else? See, let us take an example from what uh, I don't remember the name. day he said, I have taught for 30 years. I find in Dr. Sridipa's talk on teacher autonomy, I don't like the direct method. I would like to bring in the grammar translation method. Huh? But um, I don't remember who said that. Now, instead of bringing in the direct translation method completely, whenever his students take in grammar, if he asked his students to compare the Hindi mein kaise bolte, English mein kaise bolte, and he got them to compare in English, is it? Hindi, how is it? And across three months, whenever he did this, if he wrote down, I did this, the student said this. This was what the students I taught. And he gave them a test in the end and found that their English improved. That will also be an innovation. One more example. Every day we keep reading about using stories in the classroom, using language games in the classroom. Okay, let us um, a very simple game like what children love to play, what even my MA students would play in their free time, name, place, animal, thing. Okay, one student will say start, the other person will say P, stop. And with the letter P, if it is young children, you must give the name of a place, a name, and animal, a thing. Instead, if you told, I would like every week, one day, we will play this game for 10 minutes. Any letter that we choose, you must give me a noun, a verb, an adjective, and an verb, that letter. This is a fun language game. This is an innovation. And this can become, we give them a vocabulary test. We give them a vocabulary test at the end of three months. It can become an innovative practice that you can document and write and submit ERT award. It is as simple as that. Innovative practices. Anything new that is not in your syllabus, in your methods and materials. Yes, logical game, it can be anything else. I completely agree. Okay. Now, from innovation, can we go to, I want to link it to research and then we will come to ideas. What is research? That word frightening 
for teachers. No, 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 no. I can't do research. I'm only a school teacher. I don't know anything about it. I disagree completely. Okay? The word research, as you can see, researching what is known. Yes, Poonam. Exploring new ideas apply in teaching. Excellent. Okay? Researching. Whatever you have done, try and redo saying, you know, my students had this problem. I tried something. It worked. Anything that you say it worked, you try and do it systematically. Documenting whatever you do. Write it up. That becomes research. Okay? That is why, look at point two. Who can do research in the only teachers can do research in the classroom. To search new things about what is available. Yes, we will come to examples about that. Why am I saying only teachers? My university where I worked, I've now retired, English and Foreign Languages University, Hyderabad. Uh, Poonam again, finding and searching new techniques for teaching. Yes, it is known as research. I agree. Yes, I discover new information and reach a new understanding. Very good. Now, let me just come back to this. Why am I saying only teachers? Others who are registered for MPhil and PhD have to come to you not teaching anywhere and beg you come to the principal give me permission to take five classes give me permission to take 10, 10 classes give me permission to observe your teaching please let this searching for a place to carry out their teaching whereas as practicing teachers Every day, not every class, we can't afford it. You have a class, you can do what you do with more systematicity, document it, fix a time frame, three months, once a week, once in 15 days for six months, anything like that. Even for one year, you can do it. Document it, you can do it for Yes, Smita, again, teachers are researchers who can innovate. Absolutely right. What, therefore, only and only teachers can actually do research. The others are all doing pseudo because they are not really teaching unless they get permission. Now, Deepesh Chandrasekhar is here with us as one of the people faculty members who are going to talk to you. Deepesh went to a school and over in a KV for a whole term. He became their teacher. So as a teacher researcher, he carried out what he wanted to do for his PhD because he had taught in a KV for many years before that and in a school in other places. You take over, become the teacher in the classroom. It is real research. Never, never think, I don't know research. I am not registered for an MPhil. I don't know how to do it. You teachers are the bestest. I'm sorry for using that term and I'm not sorry. Are the bestest researchers for any area, whether it is science, whether it's physics, whether it's maths, and particularly for language teaching next can we do research before i continue are there any questions from anyone so far are there any doubts or shall i continue if you have doubts can you please type it in the chat box none so okay one uh, teachers are directly connected to students. Absolutely right, Smita. The teachers are the only ones who know their weaknesses and strengths. They are the only ones who can do real 
research. Now, how do we do real research? Planning, teaching, and documenting our work. That is all. All right? Now, next question I'm going to ask is, what are possible research topics? Picking up four topics, I began talking about one of them just now. That came up from Doctor, that came out of Dr. Sridipa's talk yesterday. Uh, would you like that in the chat box as well, so that all of you can read comfortably? Doctor, can you put the box? And then also show it here. Yeah, one. Using grammar translation in classes today. What I meant is, we can teaching to teach but we decide uh, is the person who spoke of grammar translation here today or not here ganga do you remember who that is dr vijay no ma'am i don't remember the name but someone talked about grammar translation with her no, vijay yes, tiwari i Supposing guess you want to use vijay tiwari it. vijay tiwari is he here by any chance y yes ma'am so i'm vijay here tiwari, yes Mr. Yeah. Tiwari, can you unmute yourself for a minute, please? Yeah, I have unmuted, ma'am. Yeah. Now, a uh, two-minute discussion with you. See, okay. you want to use, I'm saying this to everybody, you okay. want to use grammar translation in your classroom when you're using the direct method. Okay. So, when your students have made mistakes in grammar, Okay. Uh, now, let you ask in your class, do you have students with Hindi as first language or yeah, tribal languages as well? Yeah. Uh, I, have, uh, I have all these students as uh, uh, Hindi as L1. So, if every time they make a mistake and you feel that the yes. mistake is because of Hindi structure, then okay. if you wrote the sentence in English, wrote the okay. sentence in Hindi and okay. taught them how okay. forward translation from Hindi to English will not work and okay. how you must take the idea and rewrite it because the structure is different and okay. systematically if you taught this whenever they made mistakes okay. and from the beginning a grammar test pehle kar do. then systematically teach this Maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, according to your convenience or whenever it happens in the classroom. Write okay. down whatever sentences you write on the board. You keep an online diary, copy okay. down the sentences. Okay. Then okay. give them a grammar test at the end. Maybe after three months or four months when you feel they have improved. Okay. The discussions you've had, that is your online diary, Actual okay. sentences you wrote and the okay. change in their scores is a research paper. So simple, it's innovative okay. because you have brought in one old method, quote unquote old, into another okay. method because you feel it's important and you're okay. showing. Look, grammar translation also has a place in Indian English classrooms today that is an innovative practice become a research paper and a research article okay any okay, questions dr mr tiwari no we have been doing this but we have not documented it uh, exactly exactly i'm saying what we have gut feeling that what we are doing will work we learn to document it and present it, it becomes research. That is all. There is nothing more complicated about research work. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, now Mr. Tiwari yeah. says that he has not documented it, but he yes. is doing several innovative things, for example. And yes. you are saying this can become a research paper. Yes. Now, why should a teacher in a school uh, write a research paper or a research article, what's the point? Why should teachers write a research paper or a research article? Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. I have 
two, three different reasons for this. See, I'm not saying every teacher must write. I cannot say that. Okay, but we know, that unfortunately or fortunately, I do not know whether NCERT asks for research papers. But as a professional, A, I want to share what I have done with other teachers. I would say, I want professional development. I want personal growth. And let us say you want to move from being a teacher to a higher position. At that point, this publication will help you. In academics, publications helps. Deepesh, yes. Should we write it so that others can benefit? Why not? How will everybody know otherwise? Public ERT journal. It will reach a lot of other teachers who will say, Oh my God, I thought I could use grammar translation. I didn't know I could use it. Here is a lovely idea. Let me also try. I thought I could, you know, my children keep in place. I never knew I could use that to, to enable my students to get more vocabulary. Hey, what a lovely idea. Let me also try. You grow. Your co-teachers whom you haven't even met grow. Right now, I'm not able to think of other reasons. If anybody else has other reasons, please get back to me on it. But basically, I'll say it keeps a teacher alive. It gives you a sense of satisfaction to think, I'm not only weak even in simple like teacher magazines. Yes, you need not write it as a research article in a big journal. See, take the uh, uh, magazine called Teacher Plus. Teacher Plus is written for teachers to read. There are magazines like that. But you can write it in such a way that other teachers can benefit. And you feel, hey, not bad. I'm able to write for others. There are people who are reading me. It will give you confidence and give you the nice feeling that in years, all I've been doing is writing and teaching is teaching and correcting papers and teaching and correcting papers. Without that, there will be professional self-satisfaction is, I feel, one of the main reasons. Have I answered your question? We go further. Okay, my next topic Changing lesson plans when needed. This came up as an issue where Dr. Deepa said a teacher wanted to change her lesson plan and an anonymous teacher went to and the end result is there was a big discussion and argument yesterday. Okay. Now, what I would ask now of these many teachers sitting in front of me, in, in front of me meaning in front of their computers at home, in their own homes or how many times have you as teachers have had to change your lesson plan after walking into class because either the teach students were bored or reason what you had planned did not work have you changed your lesson plans or not how many of you have changed your plans Yes, ma'am, I change lesson plan according to the strength of the student and uh, and and their uh, capability and uh, their intelligence. Okay. If average students are present there due to the pandemic there, so okay. they prefer uh, easy and convenient, um, easy method and easy chapter first okay. to be teach there. And then the strength is full. Very good. Then, the, according to the strength okay. and according uh, to the intelligence. Miss uh, Poonam, Miss Poonam, hmm. one question. How hmm. long have you been teaching, ma'am? Hmm. How many years? In government, 10 years. And in Everywhere, private sector. Anywhere. Hmm. And 20 years. Okay, so one second. Just, just, just hold that. Today, Sharma, you've said you've changed your plans often. How often have you been teaching? I have been teaching for 32 years. Okay, you've been teaching. Okay, wait. I'm going to ask three of you and I'm going to come back to you. Don't mute yourselves. 
Poonam, Sudesh, then Smita Bharadwaj. Sometimes we have to change the lesson plan according to the classroom requirements to make teaching mm -hmm. effective and to retain the interest of students in learning. Okay, yes. very right. Smita, how long have you been teaching? Smita, how long have you been teaching? Are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Good evening. I am here in government three months. Teaching, and in government three months and overall 12 years. Okay. So, one of you think for a minute. I'm sure you won't get a number because you would have done this very often. At least, how often would you have changed lesson plans in these 10 years? 20 times, 5 times, or 50 times more? 25, 50, and more. What is the number? Poonam. Yes, ma'am. 20. Oh, 20 to 30 20. times? Okay. 20 to 30 times. Right. Now, Vijay Tiwari again, as per class needs. Very good. Poonam says 20. So Actually, due to the pandemic situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even pandemic. whatever the reason. Yes. Kuch na kuch. I mean, we are not bothered about why. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sudesh, how often would you have changed? Sudesh Sharma. Around 30 times. In these past 10 years, at least 50 times, you would have had to change your plans. Okay. In one year, how often would you have changed plans? Five times? Eight times? Bill saying yes. What about the others? Now, what I'm saying is, now, take these. You are anyway making a lesson plan every time for class. Whenever you change your lesson plan and you do something else, as soon as that period is over, as soon as you get free time, if you sit and write down for yourself in your diary, A, what you planned, B, what the new plan is, why you are you with me still? Yes, yes, I'm still listening. Okay, yeah, what then, new plan, yes. then new plan across one year, you find you have eight or ten or five different reasons why changed lesson plans. Now, four of you or three other teachers in school or you alone, take a look at those reasons in your diary. Okay, so some will do something will be. I found that the lesson was too difficult, so I brought it little lower. I found my students didn't understand, so I repeated the lesson. There will be different reasons, and according to your reason, kuch kya kardi very bad. I'm from Chennai. Forgive me if I make mistakes. Deepesh and uh, Dr. Deepa. You are here to correct my Hindi and come in if required. Me kya kar diya? What did I do? What change did I make? Write that down. Sorry about this. I'm just going to disconnect this call and put myself on silent. Sorry, I didn't realize my phone was on, not on silent mode. Okay. What did I do? What did I plan? How did I change? So, Purana lesson plan plan reasons for change and effect of new lesson plan on students in your notes across six times or eight times is enough to write and to count out as innovative practice that's all that is required anybody has a problem with how to analyze this i'm leaving my mail id with dr ganga I will leave my phone number, send send it to me as a document. Okay, with ease, I will help you. Okay, uh, any questions with lesson plans or can we go to the third topic? Third topic, madam. Third, third one, okay. Ma'am, been... excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, you want to documentation uh, of every changes. So who will authenticate that I have made these changes? Hmm. The question is of authentication. 
if i am writing whatever i am writing who hmm. will authenticate this these in qualitative teacher research we do not need the teachers word is has to be accepted as the rule if you find that need for this very simple your old plan you write down anyway okay your new plan you know what you did at the end of that class you simply ask to to describe what they learnt in that class today and how so as soon as you have one or two students writing about what they did that becomes what we call validation evidence from one other source that gets authenticated very simple you don't need to go for big authentication when it is ethnographic qualitative teacher search okay, okay? ma'am thank you right. just ask two students uh, even if see you don't even have to get them to write okay all you do is open your cell phone press record have a quick discussion bachcho ab kuch bol do sorry excuse my hindi okay what happened can you describe they will quickly describe that becomes your secondary documentation there are very very simple solutions don't worry thank you ma'am thank you has to unmute something not me okay can we look at giving feedback to students all of us as teachers give feedback mm -hmm. to students on their uh, on their uh, what is work on whatever they have written on assignments we give them so on and so forth but we rarely take down at least overarching feedback we and what feedback we give and what is the effect of that feedback on the students okay i'm going to suggest a very simple way of doing this as in a, and if necessary as research now uh, classes see kvs will have at least 40 students in a class am i correct can you give me a number smita my yeah ma'am 30 to 42 ma'am yeah 30 to 40 students at least now it is very very difficult to give let us say you correct unit test answer papers quarterly test answer papers it is very difficult individual feedback to every student for each exam paper too time consuming okay but supposing you kept a diary or a feedback notebook and as you that you wrote down the common problems that the students had don't bother about names all common problems and you decide that after every test or exam when it's not annual your next class when you give out the answer papers after they have the answer papers with them will be only a feedback class and you say all of you have your answer papers now look this was problem 1 this was problem 2 this was problem 3 in general but the students who made the mistake will know that it is theirs but their uh, names are not shown so they are not embarrassed you can ask are there any doubts secondly you score and quote like a maths exam you solve the paper multiple choice questions look c was the correct answer you chose b this is b many of you chose a this is why a is wrong you give feedback on short answers 
you give feedback on multiple choice and you give overarching feedback on what was written for one year you do this people write down what kind of feedback you gave at the end look at improvement in the way students wrote ask the students how do you feel after i've given you feedback like this was it helpful was it you don't have to ask all 40 get a few students and ask them that gives you secondary evidence there are two sets of answer papers beginning and end and what you gave as feedback will give you enough and the practice because it's very as far as i know it's not done if all of you are doing it hats off to you document it you will be able to share with others any questions on this not much okay uh, i'm going to skip the last one and i'm going to move to my next two points without which this discussion will not be complete so my next set of this move i've already answered this how to move from innovative practice to research by documenting but my most important question is set 4 is there a link between in research and teacher autonomy for me a very clear answer is yes 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 there is a link why is it let us go back again to yesterday's discussion dr shridipa spoke about how when she was a teacher she had to stand for 7 hours if you can't even don't even have person in your classroom and that principal is like that big brother who is going to watch with a camera cctv camera to watch and see what you are doing in your classroom you cannot do in where, where is the space for innovative practice and research? all of us as teachers must get fight for keep teacher autonomy because without that autonomy you cannot bring in a name place animal thing game into a classroom next thing they'll ask you why are you wasting time giving back you have to convince your principal that a feedback class is more valuable than teaching the next unit because four times if you give feedback after an exam paper or a test paper the fifth time automatically all small minor errors six minor gaps leaving out points will disappear but you may have to convince them therefore what will happen if uh, dr deepa can you go down a little bit what will happen if no 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 the last question in that set like the, exactly if that teacher wants to innovate what will happen no innovation or practice no innovation will be possible okay any questions right two two or three possible case studies of research that can be done any questions or is it the end of the day and you're tired no madam we are not tired you get on if you want me to continue okay research ethics is what yes thank you very much dr shridipa for bringing this up if you carry out very very important point i had forgotten if you want to carry any innovative practice and document it any research and document it please get permission from not just the students because they are under age the state we are carrying out a small project please give us permission to use student answer scripts for data and we will, i promise not to use it for any other than 
for research work, names will be kept anonymous or pseudonyms will be used. You must get permission from your school principal as well, but in KVs, you will get the permission. Okay, but get the permission of school, permission of the students and their parents. Promise that the name of the students will be kept anonymous or that, as I said, pseudonyms will be used. Have I left anything out as far as research ethics are concerned? To come in and help me here. Uh, once uh, the permission uh, uh, is applied for with the principal, and uh, once uh, the teachers are able to convince the principal or the yeah, HOD yeah. saying that this is for research yeah, purpose, yeah. Uh, I think um, they wouldn't have a problem with the innovation and the teacher's autonomy that uh, is required in the classroom. Exactly. Exactly. Normally, it's the convincing that takes a little time. Can we, uh, do we have time to look at a few case studies? Let's take the first one. See, this was somebody who did this in uh, written for written permissions for data from parents because these are students who are not yet 18 years old. Safer to get that because we don't want trouble. Uh, what I've given are two, three case studies. Uh, let's take the first one. Can everybody see this or do I want to do you need this in the chat box? It is visible, ma'am, clearly it's visible. visible. Okay. Whole class to one. See, this was something that somebody tried out actually in a small state government school near the Sundarbans outside Kolkata rural area, where this was class nine, class eight. His students would rarely submit their written homework. So what this person did was take one person's answer, write it up on the board, and ask the whole class to read it and with mistakes. I say, hey, I say. He would write it with all the spelling mistakes. If by any chance any KV facility for a computer or an LC board, Yes, you can use the LCD projector, but otherwise, good, old-fashioned, what works for us, excellent blackboard will do. Write it up and ask the students, see, use, the, uh, use Hindi if required for discussion, Hindi, the tribal language, whatever you need to, which is comfortable for you and the students. What is wrong? Is there a problem? Can we rewrite this in a better manner? What, what happens? And you can spend a kind of discussion. And like that, every time you finish the next class, you can decide that once a week, there will be one class like this. Over about six to eight weeks, or 10 or four, to leave to you, you will find that, so every time you take a different student with their permission, and discuss mistakes, ask them to correct it. You just take, these days there's a cell phone, take a photograph of correct code, out, don't erase, cut, cancel and rewrite on top. Take a photograph of what you began with, take a photograph of what happened at the end, copy those two out. Across, let's say, eight classes, there will be eight different things. Look at what were the revisions made? That's one. Two, first time you started, look at the answers written by students. After the eight classes, look at what was written by students. Compare the two answers, all these revisions, and keep a diary of what were the discussions that happened in class. You may not have to be able to record it. Don't bother. Getting all students while discussing to record is and transcribe is crazy. Don't try. This one asks this. Whatever you remember, what you remember is your authenticating data. The answer one and answer that is beginning and end is actual data. 
actual revisions are also actual data innovative practice and excellent research paper this was an mphil thesis submitted by my student who worked with me he is retired now and is there i didn't put it in thank you dr deepa for putting that okay there are lots of lovely ideas like this uh, any questions or can we move on to the second one any questions over is this becoming too much for you teachers friends colleagues i find lots of names but i can't see anybody and i don't hear voices ma'am ma'am may i ask something yeah we are supposed to complete the portions and how we are we are getting time for it just repeat that ma'am i didn't get it clearly we are supposed to complete the portions and all these things and the books and exercises huh? how we are getting time you're for you're doing all this is that correct this is shetan is it who speaking who's uh, myself mrs who's... pratibha shali okay myself mrs pratibha shali that's why i'm asking Khandwa. okay yeah, ma'am ma she's saying when uh, we have so we much have... syllabus to complete Uh, and we don't have time for this kind of activity how can we uh, do research correct i completely agree i am not saying everybody has to do this if you teach when you are teaching writing when you are giving feedback see whether then once a month can you spare one class you cannot spare nothing can be done but or can you ask your students we have a half hours discussion after class you will as a teacher will have to find your ways of doing this you cannot do a full class discussion try out a 10 minute language game try what you whenever you can i'm not saying you must try i'm saying these are possibilities okay thank you ma'am yeah, right. thank you ma'am right can we look at can i next? just add on to uh, yeah. this uh, professor geeta see time as a school teacher as a former school teacher i just want to suggest that uh, uh, in trying out these activities there can be a part of our regular routine teaching it's only the documentation and writing about it uh, that might consume time so if we just make time for documentation and for analysis data collection is not a problem that can be done in the regular class correct whatever you do whatever you try see like take the second the shridhi pass teaching life itself see undergraduate class she had five visually impaired students i forgot to add one of them was also hearing impaired and there were many many concepts did stand okay she brought in a whole lot of material into the classroom for example they did not know how a cloud looks like she made them touch cotton it will be this it will be like this and it will be up there in the sky they had not seen what a clock looked like she brought a clock into the classroom and told them touch this and see this is how a clock looks like and i i forget many of the other details she brought in many things to help her visually impaired students understand how things look like and in that activity which is a part in became a paper okay like i remember she told me how she gave them a game where she said she went and plucked some twigs sticks twigs from outside and go the twig on the tree from which this is plucked 
the uh, sighted students did not know, but the visually impaired students smelt it, smelt that and said, this is it because their sense of smell is much better than ours. Now, this itself, what are the ways in which you have, if you have visually impaired students in class, how have you helped that one student or two students learn better? That itself becomes a very good paper to help all other teachers in the country learn about what to do. She wrote this, she presented this in an international conference and published it as an international paper. Okay, uh, let's look at the third one. An essay written for 15 marks, marked it and returned papers. Students said, there's a co colleague of mine called Bas who does this regularly, marked and students said, Sir, 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 ma'am, 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 in that exam, I did it badly, I was tense, I was stressed, can I rewrite it now? He said, fine, rewrite, if you do the mark. Okay, everybody in the end wanted to get into this betterment exercise. What did they do? Even if you don't change the mark and you're able to give them better feedback on what they wrote and you're able to tell them, you did all this. Under stress, you wrote this. Why, why do you think it happened? You discuss that with five children. It, you will be able to talk about how stress, anxiety and tension messes up students and how if they are not stressed and tense, they can write better. Of course, it will help them also get over their own stress levels. Then I last I've asked storytelling, get children, as you said, if you don't have the time, if you have a big syllabus to finish, you won't be able to do this. But if you're able to get them to tell you stories and write it up in their language, that itself become a good exercise. I'm running out of time. I'm just going to show you what I call primary and secondary tools for research and then leave time for questions. So lesson plans, materials, student script entries. I would see these as primary data. Secondary data, quick interviews with a few students, interview with other teachers, interviews with parents and informal discussions either with a class group of students. I am not going into quantitative, empirical, you know, your pre-test, post-test uh, hypothesis. I'm not going there. I'm talking of qualitative teacher research that can be done in, in the classroom. If we are English teachers, most of us are here because we are scared of maths. So if I say count the number of errors, do this, do that. We'll get scared and we'll run away. We don't like doing maths. So I the statistics. I've stopped with quali qualitative research, which can be done by the teacher. Thank you very much. Time for questions and answers. Dr. Ganga. Yes. I want your number. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Before I call, there are there are a list of people. Are there any questions to be asked? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, please. If there are questions, please feel free to unmute and ask. Please feel Chat. free to unmute and speak. Either way. Ma'am, uh, your method of uh, uh, innovative research and uh, uh, innovation and research will bring a new life to the classroom. It will uh, take away the process of learning as a fun. And it will end up boring and students and teachers both can enjoy teaching and learning. 
so very much thank, thank you for you. this idea somebody asked for my number i'm typing both my mail id and my phone number see geeta priya satan at gmail dot com and my phone number is i'm giving you two numbers my whatsapp number you know eight four nine five six ma'am so, yes please yeah here i am karula jamda uh it's really very uh, wonderful experience you have shared a lot of things about the research and its tools uh, okay so all these sessions have been very uh, nice for us so far as the cpd is concerned okay. because uh, we can develop uh, in our continuous uh, professional development uh, uh, through the sessions and uh, you know that uh, you have just shared the primary data and secondary data about the uh as tools of the research so mm -hmm. in fact uh, uh in fact we have also uh, done some uh, such activities in our own school uh, regarding the research but so far is the publishing is concerned we have uh, published them as an articles in magazines not in journals in fact correct so i understand yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, the things which correct. the things correct. which you shared here uh, in different ways really they would be very beneficial for all of us and that would be uh, uh, really a new experience for uh, the teachers and for students also when we will share with our students thank you very much thank you ganga sir also thank you hello mr ganga all i would say hello. is i would like you teach all that it is not only i am putting myself into the category we big shot quote and quote academics who can publish in journals every one of you is more than ready and if you have the willingness will attention to publish yeah, yeah, yeah. in journals and right it is high time we changed the phase of academics by bringing teachers and not only we professorial characters into academics my job actually if at least 10 of you teachers in the next 6 months or 1 year sent up an article for publication to one of the ncert school journals actually ma'am you are more than capable yeah yeah thank you so much uh, you know that so far as the ground realities are concerned they are really very different from the things which are being taught in this training program uh, mr okay. ganga also knows this thing very well you know in the morning is uh, mr ganga started today uh, the way he started actually at the very beginning i was thinking that he would also talk in the way is metropolitan uh, master trainers talk uh, to the teachers of the rural areas but in fact later on as uh, he uh, went forward he really uh, understood the real spirit of the teachers living in the rural areas and the things which are there which are happening there with the students and the teachers uh, along with the government policies so in fact whatever the situations are there we would try at okay. our level best to do we would okay. we would certainly get some advantages out of this training program and the things which have been shared by you thank you so much thanks a lot thank you thank hello ma'am hello hello ma'am can i said, uh, something hello uh, please, please wait, wait ma'am please wait ma'am What did please, you mean by that? Please wait. Let me comment and then we'll continue. So, ma'am, what I want to add here is thank you very much for reminding me. I will share the list of all the NCERT journals and the email address where they can send their entries to. Yes. And here at RI Bhopal itself, you are in MP. RI Bhopal itself publishes one journal in education. So you can directly send it to me, and if you send it to me, it is sent to the journal. so that way i can also help you in proofing editing or making certain changes wherever it is no required. and if any of you dr ganga i like to state that as right and state ma'am we have written this please help us edit it we are always there to help this to help any teacher right right so even ma'am agreed for editing and also if you wish to write go write something send to us we'll see that it is finalized and it is you know shaped so that it can be published and accepted 
So uh, Poonam, uh, I already shared my mail account. ID in the chat box, Poonam. Yes, 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 ma'am. I, I want yeah, right. your email ID. I've already put it there. Okay. G H S A K A N. Geeta Priya Sarkarna. Gmail dot com. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. Thank you, ma'am. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that. Uh, so far as the editorial criteria is concerned, actually the criteria between uh, magazines and articles, uh, sorry, uh, journals, it is very different. You know. So you yes. know that whenever we send the articles for the magazines, they get published. Up to yes. now, my more than six hundred articles have got published in Hindi, English, and uh, uh, Sanskrit magazines. In fact, but very actually true. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whichever the yeah, there is a difference between the, Mr. Mr. Jamda. Since we are running out of time, can I cut in for a second? Yes, writing for a magazine and writing for a journal are two different things. We can put yeah, yeah. in a charity informal study in a magazine, a journal, a little academic study. But believe yeah. me, the revisions, comments, constructive feedback on how to change and You yeah. know, see, it's like the difference between writing a letter to a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't write the same information. You will write to your friend saying, "Arey bhai, ye ye ho gaya, this happened, that happened." Whereas if you have to report it to the principal, you will read it, you will write it, you will read it once yourself, you will make corrections, you will know all. Are okay. All the content is okay. Have I followed the formal style? It's like formal and informal style. So academic, non-academic style. That's all. No other difference. Very quickly and easily you will learn. Okay. Not a problem. Believe me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much to those who asked question and on behalf of all the participants. And in CRT, I would like to thank uh, Professor Geeta Durarajan, ma'am, for sharing her inputs about how to do experimentation and how to publish it in uh, one of the journals. How to, you know, kind of get it published. So it's uh, the teachers who are the ones who should do researching more than anyone else. Uh, uh, Dr. Ganga, before you get somebody to say a vote of thanks mm -hmm. for a minute. I would like to thank Dr. One minute. I would like to thank Dr. Shri Deepa for having taken on the job of doing my presentation for me because I just didn't know how to handle book. Looking at people and presenting, I'd have gone mad. I wouldn't have been able to do this without her help. And thank you very much, Dr. Deepesh, if you're still there, Deepesh, for coming in and helping me. When I didn't understand what was being said, I assume Deepesh was my PhD student. Today he is a good colleague. He is a friend. Thank you, Deepesh. I took it for granted that you will. Thank help. you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you to all of you for patiently listening. Yes, yes. Asmat Burubha. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I have to end only with that. So please permit me to place that. Everything I've done is not mine. It is at the feet of Sri Ramanujar and all my other gurus. My vote of thanks is my thank is over. Thank Go you, ahead. thank you, ma'am. And uh, I think I told all of them that you are the guru of all of us. We all are like gurus at our level, teachers, and you are the guru of us all. Who 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 in this group is? There, who you have not taught many of us, like except these, you know, these new participants. Uparwala, who you taught, Uparwala who you, is guru. See, who also you help, taught today. Without his help, I could never have done this. It is all right. him, not me. Right, right, right. So I'd like, uh, uh, yes, and I told you that this topic is very, very relevant because more than any other thing in NEP. uh there is a lot of talk of teachers doing some research and also it was a very relevant topic and it was a required required very required for you all so we brought this topic and very relevant very important topic karulal ji you had a very active participant today so can you propose a formal vote of thanks to ma'am and the team oh sure sure sir that's my uh, good fortune in fact you know that uh yes on the part of all of my colleagues uh, who have taken part into their training program Uh, i would like to thank 
respected geetha ma'am as well as respected deepa ma'am for your uh, uh, kind uh, contributions and you are uh, well teaching here as you have shared a lot of knowledge lot of informations and lot of uh, uh, things which uh, you have uh, yourself so thank you very much ma'am from all of us we are really obliged to you thanks a lot thank you thank very you. much thank you thank, thank you, you all for joining to us i enjoyed myself ganga sir please share yes. your mobile also deepa. Deepa. yes yes deepa ma'am yeah uh, uh, dr ganga i just wanted to uh, place a reminder uh, to respond to the teachers autonomy questionnaire google form yes google form can it will help us them? because that's a small bit of work that we are doing if you yes. can fill those forms and send it it will help teachers across we'll be very very we taking the inputs yes. from the teachers and including it in the um, uh, module that we are writing yes you remember that i we have are shared the program i have course. shared the link we are writing a course for teachers across the country english teachers and if you are able to respond to form the answers will get included in the teacher autonomy module please contribute in a sm small but very very big way to that module uh, my big plea to you is this is ongoing research your responses in thank you uh yes i will i will share again yesterday i shared that in two groups i'll share it again in all the groups that i am in so that you can click on the link and feed uh, fill your feedback in that teachers autonomy world form so thank you all we'll meet uh, tomorrow at 10:30 sharp with a new topic uh, how languages are learned connected that will be given by dr vijaya from apple university uh, lucknow campus so looking forward to meet you all tomorrow at 10:30 thank you sir thank you very much thank you sir yes sir thank you sir yes sir i am anil kumar apathi yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah no i have already requested you to uh, send links or pdf files in mpbsc i am not in the group sir how you please add me someone add me there so that i can be there <laughs> you can you can call you can call dr heman <laughs> sir or mr mukesh sharma sir they okay. are admin sir i will i'll check with uh, vijay vijay is there vijay sir is there No sir, Mr. Heman Sharma sir, Mukesh Sharma sir, and Tamni men. I'll check. I would talk to Mr. Heman Sharma, Mukesh Sharma right. sir, for you. He will add you. Don't worry for that. Yes, yes. Okay. My number is there in the group. group. Don't worry for that. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Go and enjoy. It was a wonderful session. Namaste, Namaste to all of you. Go for a walk. Namaste, Geetha. Namaste. It was really wonderful, sir. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste. Bye bye. Namaste. Thank you. Wonderful session. All of you are requested to leave the meeting now. We're done. Thank you very much. Please leave the meeting now. Okay sir thank you <laughs>